We're here in Washington, D.C., where the Supreme Court is hearing oral arguments about the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act of 2010. What I'm going to review for you right now are five important things to know about public opinion and the Health Care Act. First of all, public opinion is divided on the Health Care Act in a very general sense. You see in front of you there, the last time that we ask about it, we use the words good thing or bad thing to describe the Health Care Act, and you can see American public opinion was divided. A number of other polls have shown it divided as well, and there are a few polls that actually showed more negative than positive reaction. All of this depends on how it's phrased, but I think one of the key takeaways is that we do not find any public opinion polls where a majority of Americans support the Health Care Act of 2010. Point number two. When we ask Americans to put on their legal scholar hats, we found that overwhelmingly they say that the individual mandate part of the Affordable Health Care Act is unconstitutional. In fact, did you see there, 72% of Americans say that part of the Health Care Act is unconstitutional. Americans, of course, aren't legal scholars, and in fact, the dispute over whether or not the individual mandate and other parts of the act are constitutional has been so back and forth that it's percolated all the way up to the Supreme Court. But nevertheless, public opinion can be important, and right now, public opinion on the individual mandate part of the Health Care Act is quite negative in our poll and in other polls as well. Third point, in general, in a top of mind sense, health care as an issue is not very important to Americans. In fact, in our March update on what's the most important problem facing the country, only 5% of Americans mentioned health care as the top problem. Health care is overwhelmed by mentions of the economy and joblessness and other things of that ilk. So despite all the focus here in Washington on health care, it is not the major issue for Americans at this juncture in history. Point four, Americans tell us they don't see any benefits to the act right now, and they tell us that looking forward, they're more likely to think that the Health Care Act will make things worse than make things better by a slight margin. You see those numbers in front of you. And that leads me to point five. We have seen one apparent benefit of the Health Care Act, and that is when we track the percent of Americans who are uninsured under the age of 26. In other words, 18 to 25 year olds have bucked the trend for all Americans where the percent uninsured has gone up and in fact are reporting to us that they're more likely to have insurance than they did several years ago. This, we think, reflects that provision in the Health Care Act which allows young people to stay longer on their parents' health care plans without getting booted off. There's going to be a lot more about this Health Care Act when in the summer the decision by the Supreme Court is handed down, but right now you at least are acquainted with five key things to know about public opinion and the Health Care Act. I'm Dr. Frank Newport, Gallup Editor-in-Chief.